Hey there, I'm Celia, a French finance illustrator and full-time designer. I'm creating videos about my art experimentations and many things around art. Welcome in this new summer art vlog. I'm currently filming a new video. This is for the three emoji challenge video. And I just started to paint on this new sketchbook, which is a steel man and burn. But the specificity is that there is three different color of paper. So the color are um, beige, black and gray. And it's super satisfying to paint on it. So I wanted to show you because it's really fun. And I also just bought this pink mat, which is super cute, and the setup is really cute, so I just wanted to show you. And while I'm painting, she's living her best life in her tiny bed. She's super cute. And this is the finished piece. I really love the result and I also really love the paper. Um, it's super smooth and I really like to paint on it. So yeah, a really cool sketchbook. This summer it was quite complicated for me to create things and paint stuff because I was super art blocked and I wasn't motivated to create and to paint and a few times I tried to force myself to create it wasn't a great experience and I didn't enjoy the result as well. Finally I went slower and I focused on doing other things like going out with my friends and family and taking some time for me. And it turned out that after a period of not wanting to create anything and taking time for me, I'm slowly getting back to want to create some things. For me, our block is like when you stop working out for a few weeks and then you start again. It feels super hard at first, but then it's getting easier to get back to your usual rhythm. I was really blocked as well by the idea to do ugly things. I don't know why, but sometimes even before starting to draw or paint something, I feel like I'm going to mess up. And I don't even try to do it because of this fear. And when I finally overcome this idea and try the thing that looks so scary, it's actually not so bad. It can even look quite great. I just have to trust the process and do it. And even when I'm doing ugly stuff, I try to remember myself that it means that I'm actually improving and learning new things. Even if it's never satisfying to mess up something. I wasn't super motivated to draw or paint anything, so I decided to create a color dice. I picked a template online with the number of faces that I wanted to paint. And I picked my favorite gouache colors, so I could use the dice to randomly picked my colors for the next paintings. I used double-sided tape to glue the side and it's made of paper so the result isn't perfect. It's also too big to roll properly, I think, but it was a fun craft. I went back to painting with a little lettering which was expressing my current mood 
I was in the summer heat wave and I wasn't handling really well the heat. So I painted something melting around the word hot. Planning for the Inktober was super motivating. It's always a moment of the year when a lot of creative people have a lot of ideas. And this general atmosphere helps me to get motivated as well. Working full time and doing the Inktober at the same time can be super challenging, but always a great experience.
It's not really complicated to paint, but definitely super satisfying and I quite like the result. A few years ago, I started to take some short videos of places that I visited and stuff that I'm doing. And I didn't really know what to do with them, but I guess that it can fit perfectly in these little vlogs of mine. I finally pimped my computer with a lot of stickers and it's really beautiful, I love it. It's mostly holographic stickers and it's really beautiful. They are super shiny and some of them are mine and there are also some which are coming from the sticker exchange. So this one is Phantom Fashi, which is a, a character that Aurélien Fernandez, who is a comic artist, created. I love him, he's so cute. Um, this one is from Céline Namour, which is also one of my favorite here. Um, this one is from Mr. Ascop who is creating beautiful illustrations with Posca, uh, mostly. And the stars and the planets and the little potions are from my friend L'Etoile Polaire, who is also an amazing artist. I really love her work. And the other ones are the ones that I created. So yeah, the result is super cute. I really love it. I always have some commitment uh, problems when it comes to stick some stickers, especially on my computer, but I'm really happy with the template that I created. And yes, that's so cool. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!